As we get into December, I would expect there to be a slowdown in spending, particularly in discretionary items. And I don't think that retail is going to look great by the end of the year. All right, that's Liz Young. Now let's bring in Steve Weiss of Short Hills Capital. Do uh, you agree with Liz? Or you have a different take. No, no, I, I agree with Liz. I think that you're seeing some softness. Retail sales numbers aside this morning for good numbers, driven largely by inflation, by price. Uh, Target's sort of a special situation, though. Uh, you know, that's a third quarter in a row they miss. And you wonder, you know, I know it's not that simple, why they don't give themselves some room versus you take Walmart, which has been executing. So I think you got to be careful as to where you are in the sector. Uh, you don't have to own apparel. You don't have to own like multi-product companies uh, like, a, like a Target uh, if you don't want to own Walmart. Well, Home I mean, Depot is there cheap. You, you, you can know, own so some apparel, you. can't you? You just have to be super selective. I mean, I'm thinking of like a, a TJX, for example. I mean, there, there yeah. are companies that have managed better and maybe are in more of a sweet spot. I mean, I don't know, but that stock's done quite well, even in the face of some other carnage. Yeah, it has. And TJX theoretically should do well in an environment where people trade down, where they get more inventory, better pricing. However, I don't think any stocks are reflecting what's going to ultimately be the end of the road for the consumer. So we've seen them weaken. We know that the 70 percent that live paycheck to paycheck each week are under pressure because of costs and inflation, that is. And I think that's going to continue. So I think we've seen the best out of retail so far. Hmm. But it's always is a question of where you guide. And if you don't give yourself some fat room to guide, you're going to miss and shareholders are going to be upset. So, so I'd rather stay in the sidelines in retail. You sold Target at the end of August. What would make you buy it back? Nothing right now. You know, Brian Cornell's got some got some work to do to rehabilitate his reputation as a great retail exec. So I said miss, missing three quarters in a row shows that you're either way too optimistic versus being realistic or you just don't have a great grip on your business. I doubt that's true because he's a smart CEO and you don't go from smart to dumb even in three quarters. But it's a challenging environment for his customer base and he's too optimistic. So I wouldn't go back into Target. He'd have to get a lot cheaper. Yeah. The differential between the valuation of that and Walmart isn't sufficient enough to bring me into the stock. Yeah, tough inventory, uh, that's for sure. Steve, thank you. That's Steve Weiss, Short Hills Capital, joining us.